Hello, beautiful people. My name is JP. You're on the War On channel. Um, this is going to be part two of our series getting hyped up for Perfect Dark on Series X. So for those that haven't seen the other video, we watched the hype trailer that dropped at the Video Game Awards. And this is the top secret project that the initiative have been working on. So this is the crack squad of developers that Microsoft has pulled together, all the best talent that he, they've just cherry picked from the industry to build this game and to kind of revive this franchise. So it was a secret for ages in terms of what were they working on and the fact that it's perfect dark is literally my dreams come true. They're gonna give this series the proper treatment and they've been calling it a quadruple A game. Again, no idea what that means, but hopefully it means it's fucking awesome. So in our last video, we watched the trailer from the Video Game Awards, which is awesome. The game looks great. Obviously, it's more just kind of an introduction to the world and a bit of a teaser at this point. And then we played the first level from the N64 original via Xbox Series X backwards compatibility. So what I thought we'd do today is we will play another level from the original Perfect Dark game. Again, via Xbox Series X, 60 frames per second. It looks beautiful. And then we're going to play a level from the 360 version and just kind of chat about how... The two games are different, how the gameplay evolved between the two and speculate a bit about what might be with the new, new new entry into the series coming up. So, I thought we'd get into it. Um, let me just fire it up. Uh, there we go, perfect dark. I've got the rare replay version, which is cool. And um, yeah, this is the second level in the game, which we're gonna play. You can see I failed the first time. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, once the gameplay gets up and running, we'll uh, we'll get into it. Huh? What? Watch! Lights out, buddy. Now I remember the first time I did this level was like super tricky. It's a bit of a labyrinth. And there's one thing you need to do if you don't figure it out quickly yourself. It's a massive challenge. Oops, probably shouldn't have entered into that gun battle like that. Not to worry. All right, so I gotta get my data uplink out hack a few of these machines let's see which one maintenance now open that's the first thing and I'm quite sure there's one other thing that I need to hack it's turning on the service droid let's see I might, might need to come back and do it if it's not now nope okay then come back These aren't the droids we're looking for. Where is the droid? It's a little cleaning droid bopping around here. And it's super important. Ah, it's disappeared inside. I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be late to get back and I'm gonna miss my window to slip through the door. Let's see. Just wait. Ah, bugger. <laughs> no! The only thing that's a bit tedious in this level, you know, wait for this bloody droid, which is on a huge circuit, to come back around. Come on, buddy. Whoops. How do these things look? That's no Dyson, let me tell you. Singe on the bullets. Down with the Falcon for a bit. That makes sense.
Ah, there we go. It's actually here, not another spot. All right. Um, Sheen terminal. There we go. Winning. This one too. There we go. Yeah. And I missed that dude before. Who knows? Just gonna follow this little sucker. Through the game, but I'll have to duck out and do yeah some secondary objectives first. The death animations are just <laughs> so good. He <It> jumps. Just go do what I need to do now. That makes the most sense. Shut down some experiments. Oh yeah, yeah. Understood. There we go. Strafing still wasn't so easy to do on the Nintendo 64, so I think that's why these enemies are so easy to dance around. Because obviously it's so easy now that we're on a better piece of equipment. did it. I missed the prompter. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's annoying. Now I do have some more experiments to shut down. I believe there's one in here. Yes, no, maybe. Does that mean I failed? No. Still shut them down. Hmm. Okay, I'm a bit rusty, but curious. How do I shut down these experiments? a particular order. Don't need to be here yet. Okay, and we'll just break down the level one by one. There we go. This must be it. Hopefully this is the last one. I mean, if I was them, I'd shoot the scientists, but anyway. Please, don't hurt me. 
Pull the plug, mate. Come on. We can do it. Not the alarm. Ah, yeah, oh, good. There's one more. Must be through here. Who the hell are you? Switch this thing off. Yeah. Allow me to assist you. This guy sounds sus. Will happen. <laughs> What an arsehole. Bloody alarm on. Now this is going to be a little bit of a wait for this cleaning bot to kind of go back up and come back down. I might just muck around with a cam spy for a bit. Ah. That's gone. <laughs> now I'm trapped in here. Oh no. Oh, maybe a good time to chat about this game. Look, I used to play this with my brother, like super, super fond memories. We, um, yeah, used to kind of just do the campaign together and Oh, it's coming back soon. But a lot of the multiplayer, like against bots, we just had a blast doing that. I mean, we didn't always have the option for, you know, online play or massive multiplayer. I wonder if you can actually do the, the multiplayer via Xbox Live, because that'd be awesome. It'd be so awesome. Ooh, straighten the, straighten the schnoz. Any baddies around here? Shot out from behind. Ah, the old behind the door trick, eh? Almost had me. That's the highest security sector. Come on, Dr. Carl. Come on. Nice gun. Beautiful gun. Dragon, I think. Security code, eh? Try that again. Yes. Wipe her out. Got about these late surprise attacks. <laughs> oh, try again. It's fine. See if we need the night vision goggles in here or not. Might be for the next level. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. The glass is like so strategically placed because. If they shoot at you, you get a chance to hear them before you get hit. Because you hear the glass shatter. I mean, obviously, <laughs> explaining the obvious. <laughs> this it? Oh, the nostalgia from that explosion. Like, I just can't even, I can't explain how good it is. Shield tag. Sick. I don't even need that really, I don't think. Just the amount of hours I spent just exploring these levels, looking for secrets, looking for areas to access that you couldn't access before. That's just lost with games now. Like we just don't fuck. Just don't play that way anymore. Ah, buzz off.
She looks cool in this original. The character model in the 360, you'll see in a minute. It's just not, it's just not as good. I love there's no like, no voice lip movement or anything. No lip sync. It's hilarious. What? He's a laptop with eyes. <laughs> Looks like a check too. That's the funny part. All right. Slow mo single player. <laughs> Why would I do that? Maybe I'll give it a go. All right. I'm going to leave that game there. And we're going to dive into the 360 version now. Pretty sure I have that. There we go. Perfect Dark Zero. Look, she looks so different. Here we go. Originally a 360 launch title. It's something we were all super psyched about. In particular, because Microsoft had just purchased Rare and the first game was probably one of the best console shooters of all time at that point. Uh, the success of the GoldenEye, local multiplayer. So there was a lot to like here. Some sick James Bond vibes here. Well, this, this intro is boring. <laughs> it's like... You get it after five seconds, you don't need to see anymore. All right, let's do it easy, just to get through it quickly. So remember this being a big deal yourself, for a lot of reasons. It Your felt pretty next-gen at the down. time, in terms of the graphics. Wants you to break in. Two, Undetected. obviously being the sequel. Mega corporations don't take kindly to intruders. Security the character model though, like, I don't know why they, never understood why they changed their hair and made it red. They've kept that obviously in the Series X version as well, but I just never got it. I just don't know why. Alright. Spider-Bot. Bye. Got one. And the other. Okay. Get going. Look, the first thing I notice <coughs> is the movement is slow. Like it's just exponentially slower than the 64 version. And maybe it's the 60 frames per second. This doesn't seem to have it. It's possible. Relay. I mean, that's a big improvement over the original. So being able to just pistol whip without having to kind of switch weapons just to take so long and make you so vulnerable in the original game. All right, this is ridiculous. Fuck. I didn't do that right. It's supposed to be this. Up on a there we go. <laughs> Wrong button. But I'm fine. So awkward. Stand on the waypoint and shoot it out from cover. I don't like this addition. Like, oh man, coming in and out of that, it's just it's ridiculous. This, it this is nice, like not having to aim. You can but again, switching of perspectives. I mean. <gasps> Theory, it could be innovative, but this really is a bit shit. It's too easy as well, because you can just line up, aim without any risk, and just pop a headshot. So it's kind of feels pointless to me. I hate these door puzzles. Hit the cursor when it's over the blue blocks to knock them out. Hit a white block by mistake and it turns red. Hit it again and it knocks you back a ring. 
Clear all the security rings and you take control. What's the point? I mean, just slows things down, really. Made it past the security, Joe. Now for the job. I'll be super critical. You to it's pretty immersive, though. The like, spy. Comes equipped you with feel an like a spy. Pulse for busting electronics. You have to give and it some props for that. For busting everything else. Hit the trigger, and it's instant fireworks. Your job is to pilot the cam spy down to the CPU. Not the cam spy. I really it. wish they let that go. I mean, on the N64, it's kind of a cool idea, but just like you just can't see what's going on. It's just so <laughs> on the N64 as well, because the resolution was so low and the graphics were so. Know, that kind of blurry N64 look. You just couldn't really see where you're going. So thankfully you didn't have to use it that much. But I remember the first time I used it just being stuck for ages. Oh, come on, Joe. You didn't expect a clean run, did you? Trace the wires from the laser grid back to the circuit. And take it. That's it. Now that for the base? opposite. You got it. Super interesting that the first game doesn't have a tutorial, it just kind of throws you straight into it. But the second game, they put one in. Why? It's such a slower start. This feels like you know being taught how to play this rather than just being one. chucked into a proper mission. Aim directly no, so at follow a the wires. There we go. Now. Should have more of an English accent. Explosives. There we go. Blow it up. Blow up the core. The Manta core. Boom. Kind of like a drone, right? Before drones existed. Spider-Bots! Out of control! Move, I guess we'll see move. some drones in the new one. Spider-Bots out of control. We're at the mainframe. Now they're attacking us. Silly plot line. <laughs> Yeah, I explosives myself. Hey, what's life without a little excitement? That explosion knocked the sense out of you, kid. Jack, Cora can't control the spider bots any longer. They're heading for Joe. Get up on deck. We'll meet up there. Why? Escape now. Just let me kill some people. <laughs> it's a gunplay. Good 3D spatial audio. Getting in here, you eight leg freaks. Get, shoot. Over here. S spider bots got me trapped. Get rid of them, and I can get spider us out of this bots. place. Sounds like street sharks from the 90s. We need to do a video on street sharks, that's for sure. All right, buddy, come on out. Now I know how lab rats feel. Yeah. Give me a second. At least they got a bit more personality than the originals. Up. This movement. Maybe I can adjust it in the settings. Feels pretty slow. Okay, time to get out of here. Elevators this way. Oh my Come god, on, it's a comedy. Being attacked by a spider bot is like being attacked by a puppy dog. Mostly harmless. Oh no, where did he go? SOBs. <laughs> Edgy. Inspired by the flood, no doubt. From Halo. Oh, 
Uh, cute little puppy dog. Thank God for that. Accessibility. Croft? Shiny looking, isn't it? Graphics. I don't like the sound of that. Use the cover, Joe. No, I'm not doing that. What are you waiting for, Joe? It's time to make an exit. Ah! Shit. That guy's. Thank you. 
God, these visual settings are awful. Sorry, guys. Visual options. No. Standard TV. Thanks. Going out, but I have to take out those chopper things. Not badass. Simulation terminated. That was some trip. Tutorial. You did good. Good in the end. But tomorrow night, the mission's for real. You ready? Well, we're gonna have to pay, play a little bit more to. To draw a okay, proper kid. opinion, I think. Here's your chance to sh Skip the briefing. Hong Kong. I just love the fact they're bringing this game back. It's going to be so good. Jack Swerd was a straightforward extraction. He should have called by now. Bring us in close, Chandra. Dark Zero, this is point forward. I'm in. Dark Zero, in position. The club's owned by local gang lord Killian. It's a front for his real business. Gun running, people smuggling, real nasty work. While I extract Ziegler, I need you to take the audio scope and grab positive IDs off Killian's enforcers. Chandra will sell whatever intel you snag on the net. Stay out of the club. Use your gun only as a last resort. Keep your head down. Sure. Chandra, let's do this. Everything's in the green. Keep it that way, all right? Hit the ground running, kid. Stay safe. That's so awkward, all of it. Anyway. There's worse games out there. Sensitivity's up. That's good. Proper movement. Oh, come on. And he's not in the mood for talking. Fix the problem and we'll find another target. <laughs> We're in Hong Kong, baby. These Hong Kong gangsters. Thank you. 
Honestly, makes me, and maybe it's a difficulty, but it makes me feel lazy. It's a little bit too easy. I do think that's enough. Um, look, the, the second game isn't as good, but you know, I think as a world and a universe, there's heaps that they can tap into uh, in modernizing Perfect Dark for the Series X. You know, the richness of the sci-fi, the blend, the kind of hyper-realistic nature, that little bit of, there's a slight comedic tone in the original game that they carried through into this one too. I think all that stuff's fun. If they can make Joanna Dark a bit cooler than they did in the 360 version. I think neither model was actually great. Like they could have done a better job, but the idea of this kind of female James Bond is a good one if they can execute it well. And it feels like they've really got something in that Series X trailer in her. And they've carried through the red hair. Again, I don't know why her hair color changed. Maybe she just dyed it. I guess we'll find out one day. But yeah, look, there's something there in the world and the sci fi and the aliens um, and just this kind of. Yeah, the level at which Perfect Dark goes to from a storytelling point of view. So if they can really kind of nail that, modernize that, make that feel like a spectacle in a movie, and then kind of just iterate on that gameplay and the gadgets and the shooting, and it has to be a first-person shooter, obviously, but you know, maybe not mixing the, 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 the third-person elements with the first-person elements like they did in the 360 version, but maybe keeping it a bit more pure shooter, but thinking about the agility like they... There's elements almost of like Mirror's Edge that you could bring through into the first person mode and just kind of hold that that perspective of first person because that's what gives you the immersion. So imagine Mirror's Edge, but in the perfect dark universe with a whole host of gadgets and a banging storyline and sci-fi elements. Like it could be really cool and something unique and fresh and different. And that's certainly what Xbox needs right now in this new generation. They need that first party IP that... Um, yeah, it really innovates um, in a lot of areas and it's a great first person experience but they could also do amazing things in multiplayer and they could tap into the coalition uh, the guys that have developed gears to help with the multiplayer side of things so if they can get all these if these rumors are right and they kind of play it out in the way that they do and they set up this great single player campaign and they kind of build this amazing multiplayer like this modern version of golden golden eye slash perfect dark online 
with servers um, and gadgets. It could be really, really fresh and different. So I'm excited. Um, I'm gonna keep playing through both the original and the 360 version. So we'll see if we make another video if I just kind of power on. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Like, uh, what do you guys think about the last version and this version? The, the how the gameplay's evolved, where they might take it in Series X. Um, love to know what you think. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. Um, that helps me out a lot. It means more people are going to see the video. It means more debate. It means we can make more content like this. Um, that's me. Peace out. Good night.